tapping. Your bitch, you let me hit. She said that I'm a savage. I'm I pull up with a stick and let you niggas have it. You Ow. can get wet up and shot like a bass. <laughs> bitch, I'm a star. No, you can't take no pictures. No pictures. DM stay open to all of your niggas. You can get rolled up and smoke like a swisher. Eat on it, cook like it was your last dinner. Oh my god, good morning. Hi, how are you? Two days in a row? Yeah, I know I'm on a roll. <laughs> I'm on a freaking roll today, guys. I, I have no choice but to vlog because I just feel like I'm I'm losing myself. You know what I'm saying? And when I lose myself, I don't feel complete. But oh it's a beautiful day in California. Nay. Beautiful day outside. Let me see if I hear some birds chirping. Oh, shit, I do. Birds just chirping. It is gorgeous out here in these streets, bro. Go ho ho, Jess. Today is a beautiful, blessed, and positive day. I hope everybody out there is having a blessed and beautiful, positive day. The sun is shining. Ah. Birds just chirping. The air I'm breathing, I'm breathing. I woke up in good vibes, good spirits, all of my limbs are working. I'm feeling like a new person. You know what's crazy? This is a random thought because I just seen somebody with it on. I went to the store yesterday looking for a New York fitted cap. You're probably like, King, why? You're, you live in fucking LA. Because wherever I go, New York goes with me, no matter where the fuck I live. If I live in London, I'm wearing New York shit. So I wanted a New York fitted. And on top of that, they didn't fucking have it. So I went to the New York fitted, I went to Macy's, looking for the hats, all they had was like the, the plain brims, I wanted me the curved brim, you know what I'm saying? Went to fucking Macy's, all I see is LeBron jerseys, bro, all I see is LeBron jerseys. Yeah, trying to get used to this vlogging in public shit. So like when I walk by people, it's just like I'm very quiet. Cause it's like, nigga, you talking to your fucking camera. Awkwardness, but it's like, all right, let me do my job. My jobby job. But anyways, so I see hella LeBron jerseys. Usually you don't see LeBron jerseys when you walk into a, um, a Macy's. Cause they're all sold out. But no, this time all the Kobe's. Kobe jerseys were sold out, bro. I wasn't necessarily gonna buy one because I already know that they're mad money. I've always wanted a Kobe jersey. I never got one. But then when I finally had the chance, like, to have the money to buy an actual jersey, I ended up getting a Steph Curry jersey. That's because I was a Warriors fan. Well, I still am, but I grew up on LeBron. So, one of these days, I gotta get me a LeBron jersey. I mean, Jesus Christ, I grew up on Kobe. Oh, my mind is so, like all over the place. But anyway, you're wondering, probably wondering where I'm going. Going to the store. I wanted to get me some sage. You know what I'm saying? Some sage, sage out the house, get rid of all the nasty vibes, and then give me one of those wood chips to like get rid of all the vibes, like to keep the vibes out. I think that's how it works. I don't know. It's one of those things, but that's where we're going. We're going to get some sage and the woody things and some backwoods because you know your girl be getting high, you know what I'm saying? I think that's another reason why I just stopped posting what I wanted to post because, you know, if I can't post what I want to post, I'm not going to post. And I feel like I wasn't being myself on YouTube. Every other social media, people would be like, Oh, King's funny, King's this, King's that. But I couldn't get that juice on fucking YouTube, bro. And it was because I was pretending to have this kid-friendly ass fucking brand. And I'm nowhere near kid-friendly. At all. Like, not even a little bit. I curse, I drink, I smoke. Not saying, just because I do those things, you have to do those things. 
but in the world of the white man on YouTube, <laughs> they say that that's not influential. When you have these fucking white influencers out here doing coke and shit. So, that's my bae, that's not my bae. Cool. Ugly ass. Anyways, but um, yeah. I don't wanna have a kid friendly brand when my goal is not to appeal to children. I'm a grown ass adult. I know the kids is what buy all the stuff, but I'm an adult that want an adult, a fan base. Niggas that can relate to me. I can't be coming on here talking about life is stressful, I got bills and all this bullshit, and you kids can't even fucking relate to that shit. Y'all don't know nothing about bills. Y'all don't know nothing about like having to take care of yourself without your mommy or your daddy. And if you do, if you did have to grow up early, shout out to you. But you're one out of the many kids that I probably don't want watching me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just rather have my adults try to relate to what's going on in my life. It's just easier, so much easier. But um, yeah, I forgot what else I was gonna say. I'm trying to just get it all out by the time I have to walk back home. So all I gotta do is just edit this. Bada bing, bada bow. It's just like, I'm not gonna go out of my way. Like I told you in my last video, I'm not gonna go out of my way to try to be forcing content that's unnecessarily. When sometimes I just wanna come and talk to you guys. Sometimes I just wanna come and relate. Tell y'all about my day. Without having to be fucking funny all the damn time. Like, that shit can get draining, but I don't cross. Fuck it, I'm doing it. I feel like when you try to cross the street, cars be speeding up faster, bro. I never really show y'all. Um, if you're from Mount Vernon, my hood, if anybody from the hood is watching this video right here, this is my Grammaton. This strip right here. This is a busy ass strip. It has a lot of traffic. But this is where the majority of the stuff is that I like I use. Like there used to be a smoke shop right there, but then they got closed down. There's a bar right there if I ever wanted to just get beers, but I drink at my job because I drink for free. It's on food places I never ate at because I don't like putting anything in my mouth. Anything beef related, hot dogs, I don't eat any of that shit. And as you can see, there's a hot dog and, and, and burger stand right there. And I don't know if they sell turkey burgers, so I never really went in there and asked. Um, it's a bank over here. It's like a little market. It's like our Grammaton. Like nail spot. All that. But I never went to any of these nail spots. Like, not saying that I'm nervous or anything, but yo, I hate coming to the store with this ugly niggas in here, bro. Lying ass, corny ass nigga. Just came back from the store. Hold on. She. Yo, angles really do matter because what the fuck is this? Just came back from the store. Got what I needed. I'm about to vibe out my house. I don't know if I should do it before I smoke or while I smoke. I don't know. Probably after I smoke, that would be the smart thing to do. Yeah. Smell like the smart thing to do. They got the heat on. It's fucking hot as hell in here. Oh, bro, 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 bro. I don't even know what to eat. I could have some cereal. I got some cereal that I didn't. That I just brought that I don't got no milk for. Um, well, I can make me some croissants. Probably make me some croissants. I'm not really sure, but most likely some croissants. I work today. Not doing anything. Like, I'm literally not doing anything but being on TikTok. So, go follow me on TikTok. One time for the one time. And that's all I really got for you guys. I don't want to sit here and try to, like like, like I said, force content. So, so I'm going to say a blue stack my lips. They look a little ashy. They dry as fuck. Um, I love you guys. Peace, love, and happiness. Make sure you guys stay black.